Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Polybridge 3! It actually came out! Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, quite excited by this one. Polybridge 2 was the game that kicked off my channel after all. And the devs have given me special early access, so thank you very much devs. Uh, let's go take around and see what we have. Oh, a tutorial. I used to be a real engineer. I don't need a tutorial. I mean, I might do. Ooh, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Wait, foundation? What's a foundation do? Everything else, though, looks pretty what I'm used to. So let's build some road. Let's go boosh, boosh, boosh. Build the truss that it wants us to build. Copy another one over there. Then we press play. Ooh, ooh, look at the graphics. Look at the graphics. So yeah, there are a load of worlds. Look at all these worlds. Is the difficulty sheep? Is that a little sheep there? But yeah, we'll just fly away through these first few, few levels. That one was just adding an extra truss. Oi, 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 what's this? There's loads of people in the leaderboards. I'm 30th. I can't be having 30th. Right, try again. Time to push this game. We gotta, we gotta lower these. And I've lowered that truss. So that just about works. And this one's... Oh, no, it's not fine. Sorry, little man. So because that bit of wood broke, I reckon... Well, we can definitely lower those ones looking at this one. We may need to raise those two triangles. Let's just see how that works. Where's, is there stress? Aha, stress visibility. There you go. So you can see, oh, as it drives along, uh, it's no good. So I think actually I do need to go back up where I was. Or, I mean, let's turn the grid. Let's turn the grid off, Matt. You're meant to be a pro. So after a bit of tweaking, how's that for the stress? Oh, it goes pretty high, up to about 91. There we go. Now we're 11th in the world. Oh, to get up to 10th, I got a half my budget. What? How am I meant to do that? Anyway, one thing I have noticed, there's various different types of budget. So we've got the lowest budget I'm breaking. Oh, did something break? No, oh, for some reason that leaderboard hasn't updated. Anyway, there is also the lowest stress budget. So basically ignore the price, just get the lowest absolute budget you can. Let's turn the grid back on. This is really going to test my knowledge now. So I think we need, we're going to need wall braces. So we can come like down here and do a bit of that. We need to do the same on this side as well. So if we watch the stress... Oh, it's all green. It's 20%. Oh, it went up to 31. So let's slow it down with this new slide. Oh, it goes down to 10%. Look how slow he's going. Okay, so we can really see how the stress is affected here. Yeah, so it goes up to 30 when he's in the middle. So if we were to add more truss, then the stress only goes up to 26. Oh, no, look at the bottom. Under budget solutions only. Oh, this game. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We can't, we can't use the budget. But we can probably shrink these a bit. Uh, in fact, I've just got distracted. I've I've decided to make a cheaper bridge. 6,800. Does it? Oh my god, what's going on? Why are they shaking? Why are my bridges scared? Why did it broke? <laughs> it broke when no one was on it. Why are they shaking so much? I mean, let's remember this game isn't actually out yet, so there's gonna be some teething problems. <laughs> it's going mental though. But yeah, right, that'll do. Oh, look. 69,000. Nice. And 66. Nice. I mean, we're still outside the top 10, but I'm I'm sure that'll do. Let's go on to the next one. So what is that? Is that? Oh, it's a sheep. It's a sheep in a hat, in a golf buggy. Oh, I quite like those little characters. Right, anyway, let's uh, let's have a go with the line tool. Just make sure it all works the same. 12 meters, fill in with road, boosh. And then we're just going to do something sort of like that. We'll copy that to the other side. And how heavy is this thing? Mass three polygrams. Okay, that might be okay. I don't think the bridge I don't think the bridge is like having like anchors. I think that's what's making it shake. And, but oh, look at that. Top 8 in the world. I mean, hardly anyone's played it, but whatever. I'll take that. Yeah, my max stress was 98%, so presumably we're going to be yeah, we're 40th. We might actually be the worst person at that. I think because I'm at the bottom, only 40 people have played this and I'm last. We came last. Now, also, there is a gallery, but I'm going to imagine there's not a lot going on in the gallery at the moment. No, everyone's just on normal bridges. Oh, look at this, though. We can easily change what gallery we look at. All oh, right, I'll tell you what, then. I'm I'm going to carry on with the levels, and then maybe next video or the one after, whenever the game's released, we'll come back and have a look at all these early levels. But for now, we got more levels to do on the rocks. So this one has a, has a rock in the middle, so we can use that as a bit of an anchor point. So we'll fill the gap with road. Oh, a bit of wood reaches straight up there. I don't know if that is actually useful. I think to be on it. I mean, I, I'll leave it there. But I'm, yeah, I'm probably better off coming like underneath. So if we do like that sort of thing with... I keep doing the wall braces and I don't think my game likes me doing wall braces. But I've mirrored it to the other side. Let's see. Is that going to be strong enough? No, it isn't. But what about if I move this wall brace down a little bit? Yeah, we're good. By the way, look at the background. There's like an awesome ship and stuff. 
Oh, nice. We're just under 10 grand there on the leaderboards. I am... Oh, I'm eighth again. Nice. In your face, pal fly. Oh, that's quite cool. It tells you like the weight of your bridge as well. I'm going to have to push that to the max at some point. But yeah, so much new stuff. So this one is called Industrial Metal. Oh, we finally get some steel. We have a school bus to get across the road. But yeah, look, look. There's like a ship out the front as well. Lily pads over there. There's so much detail. Anyway, we'll fill in that. We'll press push to fill in with the road. And then there's no wood in this, so we have to use steel. Uh, so do we just keep trying to go with the cheapest solution? So I'm not entirely sure what that would be, but I reckon if I just go down the middle of each bit of road and truss in between, we got like a shrinking truss. It gets smaller towards the end. So that is strong enough to support itself. Will it support the school kids? Yes, it will. Nice. That went up to 96%. So that was actually really stressed out. Uh, so where did we... Oh, we're fourth. We are fourth in the world. Uh, where are we on stress? The bottom 6%. I mean, engineers, they, they push limits. There's no point putting a tiny bit of stress through metal. I want to push it to the limit. That's, that separates the engineers from the architects, I reckon. But cool. Next level is called mixed materials. So now we've got wood and steel. So generally for these, you want to like solve the level and then you want to try and make it cheaper. So if we just go push to fill the road in. Then I mean generally, because I was an engineer in case I haven't mentioned that before. Um, I don't like using steel. I think just wood. Wood is 180 quid per meter, whereas steel is 450. It's so much more expensive. So I honestly think we just do this in wood and it will be fine. So let's get the wall brace in there. Remember the wall brace, this is like making the bridge span smaller. So rather than starting from that point, like the weight is going down into there. So basically your bridge starts there, if that makes sense. Uh, so if I go, I'm sort of thinking of doing that sort of thing. And then maybe trying to get away with just like a little truss on top like that. That may be a step too far. But if I copy that to the other side and shove that in and then, oh no, look, that's no good. Because basically there's no support in the middle. So if we watch this, can you see... Oh, yeah, it's flopping. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is why we use triangles, because if you use squares, well, they can move. If you think about that joint there, there's nothing holding it in place. Well, if you just bring it up a little bit so I can do that. Now you can see, like, it can't move, whereas before it was, like, acting as a hinge. So that is generally why triangle is the second strongest shape. Ooh, straight into the water. So what happened there? So that bit broke. So what we could do is replace that with steel. And then just see if the rest nope. of the bridge works. Oh, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. But I'm pretty sure if we replace both of those with steel, that should give us enough support. Oh, yeah, look, we get across easy. Okay, let's try and make this cheap then. So 12,709. If we put wood back in, we know wood doesn't work, but we can return to our friend the muscle. So essentially do that. So the force coming down here, rather than going through that one bit of steel or one bit of wood, it's now got it's now got a choice, essentially. It'll go through both of them. So that's 13,233. Hang on a second. Steel's way cheaper than a muscle there. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it as steel for now. So I reckon these can probably be shrunk quite a bit. All right, but that seems to work. So if I now copy that to the other side, boosh, hopefully we get all the way across. Yep, just about. Uh, just under 12,500 quid up there, which means... Oh, look, we're second. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go for top. I gotta go for top. All right, so I really think... Can I try and get rid of these? Are muscles still cheaper? There you go. We could do something like that. That could actually be really good. Oh, yes. Nice. That is good. That is good. Let's have a go at trying to make the rest of this a bit cheaper. So it's all about just seeing what stays green and then trying to make it go a bit more red because red means it's got more stress going through it. So here's the moment you've been waiting for. The bridge montage. Somebody boom, once boom, told boom, me boom, that boom, architects boom, might troll boom, me. Boom, but let boom, that happen, boom, I'd rather boom, be boom, dead. Boom, 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 because boom, architects boom, are boom, dumb. Boom, Gotta boom, kick boom, them up boom, the boom, bum boom, when they boom, try boom, to design boom, on the boom, seabed. Boom, 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 boom. Well, projects are coming boom, and they don't stop coming. Boom, Drawings, reports, boom, they're all forthcoming. Boom, so much work boom, that I'm overrun. Engineers are smart, architects are dumb. 
much to do, so much to see. Got Paddy to keep me company. He is the star of the show. Ouch, I just stubbed my big toe. Hey now, Mr. Bridge Guy, use a triangle. Go build. Hey now, you're an engineer. You build bridges. Oh, yeah. And if you stack triangles, you can span any gap. It is cool to trust. Bridge. All right, so this is what I've come up with. Looks like a bit of a mess in the middle, but it works. And we're just under 12 grand. So let's see. Look at the stress. Every piece almost goes very, very red. And where are we in the leaderboard? Oh, yes, we are first in the world. Now, but let's go on to the next level. Two bridges. That is what I call value. So we've got a little cut. <laughs> it's always sheep driving them. Uh, this is the Model T. It weighs four and a half polygrams, uh, which is actually pretty heavy, to be honest. Now, you can see for our materials, we are restricted on the steel. There's only 14, but uh, engineers don't work in steel in this game. So I think we'll do straight across to there. Boosh. And then straight across up there. Boosh. And then we just got to bridge this up. We've got this node in the middle. What actually... I was going to say, what is that in the middle? It's just a foundation. By the way, I have paused the game. Um, if I if I unpause, that's what happens to the roads. That's why we need to build bridges. So again, what I'm thinking, we go... Yeah, we can reach over to there, okay? So I'm thinking the over truss. This is so small. I really shouldn't be going this small this early on. Yeah, actually, I was struggling with the wall brace, so we've gone with an overtrust that side. I'll, I'll leave it on that side, as that seems to not be doing anything too bad. But that works for over there. Now we've just got to do this bridge. So I'm thinking if we go... Let's just move this road slightly, just so all my bits of wood reach where they need to. But I'm thinking we go over the top and do something a bit like that. So stress-wise, you can see down there, that's... That's under some force, that is. When it has weight of the car on it. Oh, I made it. It did make it. But it wasn't happy, that piece down there. So where did we rank? Oh, we're sixth. And again, in the lowest stress, we're pretty high. We're 25th. There are people that have gone higher than us, though. So I'm pretty sure earlier levels, we were actually the bottom of the rankings. But yeah, can I beat Pal... Yeah, I reckon I can beat Pal Flight. I've only got to save, like, about 500 quid. I can probably do it pretty easily. So yeah, let's lower this truss quite a lot. And then we're just over 18 grand. So we're fifth. We beat Palfly by a long way. So that's good. Oh, look how close I am to Masonator. 300. I don't think I can save 300 quid from this design. So instead, let's go into the next level. Underplane. Oh, look, CR7. Sui! I don't know what the f that was. I know my editor is not a footy fan, so he probably has no idea what I'm going on about. But what is that? What sort of plane is that? Like, I've made a lot of weird planes, like in Kerbal Space Program and stuff. But what is that? I need to press play and see what it looks like. Oh, I can't see what it looks like till I do the level. Okay, we've got to build, we've got to build a bridge. But uh, we can't just build a bridge into that red area because it will get taken out by the plane. So we've got to go, we got to go to the middle. So I guess we want to do something a bit like, yeah, a bit like that should work. And then if I just keep all my bridge building this underneath, then it'll be nice and cheap and out the way of that. I mean, potentially we could come down quite a bit further, but I guess for now, let's see how we can get this to work. So can we do the classic that truss on top and then just copy that to the other side? I am not sure if that is going to be any good. It's going to be wobbly as anything. Yep. Because basically that is a hinge there. So if we just strengthen that up down one side by doing that, that means this cannot move anymore. But remember, those bits can still move. So we'll see if this is any good. Oh dear. No, it's not. Now, by the way, when we're playing back, look, we've got these settings on here. So they're different camera angles. So that's cool, I guess. We've got 2D, so it looks like that. Um, but then up here, look, we have pause on break. So if we turn that on, I think as soon as something breaks, the game will be paused. By the way, why are there no sheep driving these two vehicles? Are they just runaway vehicles? What's going on it? But yeah, so this should... Yeah, look, it's paused because one of those is breaking. That one there, I think. Okay, that's good to know. So doing that should make a strong enough bridge. So are we going to see the plane now? Yeah, there it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And then the police car goes, oh, but it broke. Oh, I'm liking the pause on break. That is decent. But yeah, if we watch this, I think the police car, oh, yeah, it's got so much momentum that it just goes like, does like a little bit of a jump. So maybe if we move that back a bit. If we do that, then it's a bit smoother, less of a drop. Um, and I just want to pause to look at this. Look at this plane. Oh, it's a penguin flying it. <laughs> this penguins can't fly, so he's got a plane. Oh, I like that. 
Anyway, you carry on. There is the car. Oh, it's so fast. Slow down, police car. But we did it. And how did we rank? We are third. Oh, we came third with our first attempt. That is not bad at all. Look how cheap the cheapest solution. Like that. The man was cheating. But yeah, with the stress on, it looks. Ooh. There you go, pretty red. I am wondering though, do I need that bit in the middle? Because that will save us quite a bit of money. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, that's good. We can then probably shrink these quite a bit and move them like into the middle. That is a very cheap way of doing a truss. Oh, the trouble is though, I forgot we got to do this for the police car as well. So whilst this probably works for the truck, it may not work for the police car who's going to absolutely cane it. Oh, it did, but it broke. I mean, the bridge was still standing without that piece. Oh, that worked though. That did work. So 9,700 quid. Oh, got to save another like... 550 quid to get to second and that likely means losing a part or two like if i delete that that's 200 quid saved how did people do this so cheap i don't understand all right yeah i think i got no chance of getting second so we'll go with that we'll go on to the next level over the boat so this one we got oh that's a tow truck yeah i guess it is a tow truck i'm so used to like the poly bridge 2 vehicle oh no look the ship sunk oh no but yeah, right. So this one, there is a ship coming. So we need to we need to make a bridge that goes over it. So it looks like three pieces gets us to, to there, which leaves an annoying little gap. But I don't see why I couldn't just do like a little jump down to save on the road pieces. Because road is 300 per meter. So using wood is a lot cheaper. So if I do like that and then just make this bridge work. So we end up with that sort of thing. A nice bridge going over the top. But with this jump down... And that should be cheaper than using an extra bit of road. Yeah, we are eighth. We are eighth. To get into the top six, we've just got to we just gotta save a few hundred quid. Okay. Well, I'm sure the road doesn't need to be that long. So we can go back that way and do a bit of tweaking elsewhere to make everything a bit smaller. And then I've done you one better because we're under eight grand now. And look, look how close this is. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Nearly doesn't make it. But oh, look at that. We're first. We're legit first. Under eight grand. Love to see it. And then you can see we've basically completed the entire first world for under budget and unbreaking as well. Next time we'll continue the last two. I'll have a look at the gallery if the game's out. If not, we'll do that another time. And then we'll go to the next world, the Minor Mountains. But for now, that was a nice little look at Polybridge 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Bye!